and safety instructions. Oops. Oh, mind. That was a bug. It seems like it's dying. And today, we are going to be working on my goat cart flyer, a radio flyer wagon tub that I built. Um, I built a frame for it um, out of a gate that was trashed. So now, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be mounting the rear axle and possibly the engine in this video. So I'm thinking giant sprocket with decent amount of horsepower. <laughs> And since this is a lighter duty frame, I am going to twist uh, the throttle limiter screw in quite a bit and do no performance mods to this unless it can handle it later on. But let's get to unboxing this Predator 212 Hemi. Aha. Get to the good stuff. Well, this is a Predator 212. No, or this is a Hemi head. Oh my god. And this, this motor has six and a half horsepower and uh, the Hemi has a little bit more torque, has 8.1 foot pounds of torque. But that's just good stuff. What I want. I originally was going to go with uh, a 79cc motor, but I said I need all the power. Oh yeah, and I was going to go with a flathead Briggs and Stratton, but I realized this thing's on sale. Let me just go with the best option. So now. Uh, we have a Predator 212 Hemi and brand new. We got a clutch and chain right there. And so we can slap that clutch on. It's a three quarter shaft. And then we'll mock it up in here. Okay, so what um to install this clutch, all I need to do is I like to slap a uh, washer on there, so I don't have to use these uh, set screws and because they kind of scar up your crankshaft. And then that that and then I got my uh, crankshaft bolt here, and I think this is uh, five sixteenths. Uh, 1024 bolt, and I messed up and put a metric bolt that came with my torque converter kit. Uh, that wasn't from Go Power Sports on my uh, Predator 212, and it was a metric bolt. And now my threads, my crankshaft is messed up, and now I'm gonna need a helicoil. <laughs> Which is a little scary. But now, we basically can slap a chain on there and then let's go mock it up. Okay, I got a little bit ahead of myself and what I forgot to do <laughs> is mount through your axle first. Um, so basically got the goat cart with just a little bit of a uh, rake, just a tad, just enough to where I want it. And so, uh, oh, yeah, that's perfect. We'll go right there. Okay, now I got it to where I want it. And so now, I am going to measure this, see the distance between here and here, 
chop it, drill hole for these, and then weld it on. Okay, so what I just did there is basically cut all these, and I did have to use one non-gate metal material, but I cut all of them, and then I drilled holes through them, and then I put basically a cap on, on top of all of them. Uh, yeah, so I put caps on all of them, and I cleaned up this bottom surface here so we can weld. I just need to get a grinder disc, um, grinder, clean up this, uh, basically, uh, clean up the frame of paint, and then we need to mock up the motor, so, yeah. I'm gonna go get some agua, so, I will see you in a second. So, we got our axle mocked up here, we got these, uh, the mounts on. I actually had to shave a little bit off of it. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we are going to take our grinder and basically clean our surfaces so we can actually weld. So the go-kart fly right now looks really cool. The camera does not do this thing justice. Uh, I do have the engine on a wood block. I will be working on that tomorrow. And I do need to add spacers and align the axle. But all in good time. But this thing looks really, really cool. <laughs> Oh, I just love it how the way it looks. So, tomorrow we will mount the engine kind of like this, and then we will move the sprocket. It has you can put it on either side of it, you can put it on this side or that side, get on that side, and I'll just flip the bolts around and then I'll put them through there. But this thing looks so sick, you cannot tell me it isn't. I want to keep staring at it. But, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, it is the morning. Uh, while I was waiting for my files to transfer over, I welded a hitch onto it. Nothing too important. And now, I have a trailer attached to it. So, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to put a wood block under the motor and then I'm gonna put the motor on top of it and then line up my chain and everything and just figure it out, so. All right, so with the uh, chain tight and 
the motor plate a little forward. I need to weld, I'm going to weld the motor plate directly onto the frame right there. So I'm going to pull the motor off, pull the axle off, and I'm going to weld that motor plate in. Okay, so I'm just saying I'm literally out of gas, so I'm going to have a lot of porosity in my welds, basically holes in my welds, but I'm stacking literal dimes. Don't worry about that or that. I tried to cover a weld and fill it in a little bit, but I am stacking dimes. You can't tell me that those are clean. Anyways, I'm going to let this uh, cool off for about a long time <laughs> before I even do anything. So I will see you in a second. All right, so I've done a little bit work off camera. I've got keys in all of uh the axles and, uh, and the sprocket and I got lock collars in the sprocket and I got the chain on and I got the motor tight so what we need to do now to just ride this thing a little bit is I need to tighten up these axle nuts fill this thing up with oil fill this thing up with gas and since this motor is brand new I'm going to let it idle while I uh, do some other things. First, oil. <laughs> So, if you didn't know, I'm holding the steering wheel with one hand, and I'm doing this with the other. And then the steering is actually quite tight, it needs to break in a little bit. So, it's really sketchy. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, 
you'll see the next video on this. We're going to be finishing it up, doing a lot of things on it. Throttle cable, brakes, and yeah. So, please like and subscribe. Share with people that you think you, that would be interested in this. See ya.